Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a Panda palette update. I'm panning the Too Faced chocolate bar this year and it is hard. It is really really hard because the shades are so densely packed into the palette that I have a really hard time panning it. But I think I have made really really great progress overall if you consider how hard pressed it is into the pads. So this is the palette that I'm panning. If you haven't seen it before, I'm pretty sure you have because this has been around for ages. Yeah. Okay. There was like 10 motorcycles, bikes, motorbikes, I don't know what they're called. I'm going to show you how this palette looked like last month and then I'm going to show you how it looks like now. This is how my palette looks like now. So as you can see, I have a lot of pan and I'm really excited about it. The biggest change is that I have finished my Franken shadow down here. And that was a mixture of marzipan and candy violet. These two shades right here. I have been loving using that Franken shade. And I have actually considered mixing half of marzipan and candy violet again to have that shade. Just because I loved it so much. In the beginning I didn't love it, but then I found some very nice color combinations so I could love that shade. Um, and that really helped me getting through some of Candied Violet. My main goal was to pan on every single shade. I'm not positive that I actually can do that, but I'm really really trying here. <laughs> Luckily we are going into autumn and that means darker looks and you can actually get away with it and the fact that i'm not working at the moment that means i can work bolder colors and more smoky eyes when i used my frame shadow that was in this uh, pan here i incorporated a lot uh, of the pebbles from my nyx ultimate shadow palette and i used a lot of these Papers right here, that one, that one, and that one. I never really use color, but I love using color, so that's just silly. So I thought I would try to play around with the purples, that really light silver kind of purple shade, and it looked beautiful. Two days ago, I filmed a panning look with the with these purples and the Franken shadow. So I will have that up after this update i believe another palette that i have started using it again i tried to pan it last year it failed but it wasn't my main focus so i guess that's an excuse i don't know but i have tried to use this shade again um, as a first transition shade i have actually considered uh, mixing it in with white chocolate when i'm going to repress it because i think i'm going to repress it this month because it's getting really really hard to use so i think i'm going to mix that shade into white chocolate just because it's so light another shade i have thought about uh, pressing into white chocolate is strawberry bonbon because i have this month tried uh, to set my eyelid with that shade and it doesn't serve it <laughs> its real purpose when i do that so i have considered repressing those shadows together. Another thing I have considered is to repress these two shades right here together with some of Creme Brulee into this pan as well. I made a mixture of these three shades in, uh, in the middle of the year, I think. I'm going to use a kind of smoky brown gold shade. It can just be these three together anyways. And I really really like that shade and that was kind of perf perfect for autumn. Candy Violet I have used in my Franken shade and in my outer corner and I did a tutorial using that shade as well. I can link both of them below. Cherry Cordial I have used so much. Hopefully you can see the dip. Because I have been working so hard on that shade and I have used that in my outer corner all year. When I've been panning my Franken shadow, I have been using triple fudge a lot in my outer corner. I'm beginning to use this in my eyebrows again. Uh, as you can see the dip from my eye, uh, eyebrow brush. Because I really want to hit pan on that shade and I just realized the only way I can hit pan on that shade is 
if I use it as an eyeliner, but I don't do that because I use liquid liner. That is just my preferred method. In the outer corner, it's just impossible to hit pen for me. In my eyebrows, it works. I have them in right now. Then creme brulee, I have all over my eyelid today. And I have been really, really liking this look again. A more simple one when I'm wearing the red lip. Salt Camel, I'm using almost every single day uh, in my crease. Marzipan I have used a few times, but not as much as creme brulee. I hope I can do some goals, but I'm really, really afraid that I can't hit them. Just because I have failed so many times doing goals for this palette because it is so densely packed. But I really, really, really want to hit pan on triple fudge this month. So let's see if I can do that. I don't know. But yeah. Because this is my main goal to hit pan in all the shades, except for Gilded Ganache, I, I gave up on that shade months ago. Therefore, I'm not going to throw it out by the end of the year. I'm going to keep it in my collection and slowly trying to pan it on the side. Just because I don't want to work on it anymore after this year, because you get a little bit bored. And I have so many other palettes that I'm neglecting. And I really want to play around more and incorporate other palettes. Because I'm so close to my goal on hitting pan on all the shades, I think I can allow myself to play around a bit more in my collection. For example, to use the NYX palette as a crease shade, you know. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a like and then subscribe to my channel down below. If you're new here, I would love for you to stick around. Then I just hope you are going to take care of yourself until I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.